Welcome to Cooking with Bobby Joe. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video to show you how to make chicken wings in the crock pot. When life is hectic, crock pot meals are the way to go. And I've been making crock pot meals for the last few months because life has been pretty hectic. I bought this family pack of chicken wings, so I'm going to go ahead and cook some today and freeze the rest for later. I sprayed the crock pot with cooking spray. Then I'm going to place the chicken wings in. So, I've been thinking about making a channel just for the bird videos. I put up a poll on my community page. I was wanting some input from my YouTube family on what y'all think about it. This channel started out as a way to make doggy treats with Bobby Jo as she was going through her hip surgeries and to show my sister how to make some meals. Then in 2021, we moved to this house and I started with the bird videos. My grandma wanted photos and videos of all the birds and it was just easier to post it to YouTube. I didn't realize so many other people enjoyed birds, too, until I started posting bird videos. Anyway, the channel is a whole lot more than just cooking now, but I do have things divided into playlists to make it easier. But I'm not sure if some people think it's too cluttered with different things. And maybe I should just get this channel back to just cooking and do a different one for the birds. Anyway, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with that or if I'm just going to leave it like it is. Okay, now that I've got the wings in the crock pot, I'm going to add a small amount of water. I think this is going to be around a fourth of a cup. If you're using frozen chicken wings, you don't have to add the extra water. They'll produce liquid as they thaw and cook. You can go ahead and add your sauce to the crock pot if you want. I wait until the end because I do a couple of different flavors. These are a great snack for a low carb or keto diet if you use a keto friendly barbecue sauce or a different kind of sauce that's keto friendly. If the wings are frozen, you want to cook those on high for two and a half to three hours. Or if they're fresh wings like I'm cooking, I will cook them on low for three hours. So I will be back in three hours. Okay, let's check the temperature. They need to be 165 degrees Fahrenheit. These are done. Next, you want to turn the oven on broil. Line a baking pan with aluminum foil and spray the foil with cooking spray. I'm going to pour some keto barbecue sauce in a bowl. I will dip the wings in that and make sure all sides are coated. Then place it on the baking pan. I have a recipe for keto barbecue sauce. I will link it in the description. Or you can find keto sauces in your local grocery store. I'm going to dip a few in honey mustard because Steve loves honey mustard coated wings. Steve loves honey mustard on everything. I'm going to sprinkle some of the honey mustard rub over the honey mustard coated wings. And the others, I'm going to sprinkle barbecue seasoning over. I'm going to stick them in the oven, and I will keep a close eye on them to be sure that they don't burn on broil. And while that's cooking, I'm going to pour the chicken broth in my large measuring cup. I always save the broth and use it to season rice or potatoes or vegetables. I mean, if you want to boil some broccoli and some chicken broth, that's really good. Okay, five minutes later and the wings look ready. If you want them toasted a little more, then leave them in the oven a little longer. But make sure you keep a close eye on them because ovens cook differently. It may take five minutes in my oven. It may only take three or four minutes in yours. And when something's on broil, it does not take long for it to burn. I like to make a batch of wings to use as snacks since I'm on a keto diet and it's a really good snack. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching and y'all have a very blessed day.